Welcome to Groom Pimans Reviews. Today we're looking at the Q2 indoor security camera. Quick look at the packaging. That's just some information of the camera. The app, you could download it from the App Store and of course Google Play Store as well. Some information on this side, it records 1080p Full HD and it uses the H.265 codec. That it's high quality and it takes up less room. It does support a micro SD card up to 256 GB and it also supports cloud storage. But if you don't want to pay for the subscription, you can just use the micro SD card as well. Human detection, the technology in this is quite clever. At the time of making this video, this camera cost for 40 pounds. And for that, they have packed a lot of technology in. This was provided to me free of charge by the manufacturers in exchange for an honest review. So how the human detection works, if there's a pet that goes past, it will set a detection off. But if another human comes in, it'll push a notification to your phone to let you know that there's someone there. Two-way audio, day and night footage, Wi-Fi connection. It only works on the 2.4 gigahertz. Cloud storage, a micro SD card, what I've already mentioned. Okay, I'll just open it up and lay everything out. This is everything that was included inside the box of the Q2 home security camera. I've also reviewed the lock outdoor security camera. I will leave a link to that in the description box below if you want to pick that up. I will also leave a link in the description box for this camera if you want to pick it up. Anyway, you get some paperwork, instruction manual, and that's it. You don't get anything else because it's really simple to use that app on this is fantastic as i mentioned in my other video when i reviewed the other outdoor product it's really easy to navigate around you've got a qr code there so you could download the app you get a template so if you are thinking of wall mounting this you can use that you get a 3m adhesive tape you get some fixtures and some screws at the bottom of the camera, why I've turned around to the camera because I've got the plate here, that's a magnetic plate, so that would clip on like so. So if you are going to wall mount it, you'll use it like so. And that is a tough magnet that, as you can see there, it's just falling on. That's that. You get a power adapter. Because I'm in the UK, I got a three pin one, but whatever country you are in, you'll get one for that. You get a full size to a micro cable. The actual camera itself at the bottom here it's got three little feet so if you are placing it on a desk or anything it won't scratch it that's what i'm going to do and then you've got some other information at the bottom at the back there you've got your micro charging port you've got the reset button that's a speaker that's the qr code so in the app you'll be asked to scan the qr code or the serial number you can either use it on the box or from the back there micro SD card slot. I've already inserted a SD card in mine. It supports up to 256 GB SD card. And of course it does have cloud storage. Let me just remove this. Now, I don't think you'll be able to pick it up, but over there it's got a built-in microphone because of course two-way audio. So you can speak to the other person from the camera and the other person while they're using the app, they can speak to you. It does have the app sharing feature as well. So if anyone else got a, an account with this, company you can share the video with them and that at the top there that's the led light so it'll be red and when you've got it working it will go green of course the lens and the camera does have a lot of flexibility to it so if you want to mount it you can mount it like so or like that but if you do mount it like that, make sure you go in the app and flip the footage around because this camera doesn't pan or tilt, it just stays still. But you can, of course, pinch to zoom in and pinch to zoom out. I do already have the app installed on my phone. Go to the Play Store or App Store, you download the app, it will ask you to set an account. So put your email in, a password, set it all up. Once you've got to that stage, then I will show you how to link the camera. As you can see there, mine says lock. I've already got that linked, but I will be linking another camera. I have switched that camera off because if you can see, it says device offline, because I want to just focus on this camera in this video. So let me give it some power and then I'll come back. The cable is nice and long, so I've plugged it in to the power adapter there and I'm just going to insert the micro cable in. As you can see there, that's red. So while that's getting done, I'll go to the plus. And it's saying, please scan the QR code 
on the device or you could do the serial number but I will be using the QR code which is at the back there just picked it up please connect the power cable to the device I have done next okay my Wi-Fi details next please confirm that the device green light is flashing slowly which it is can you see that yep the green light is flashing slowly next turn the volume up press next Add successful so the camera has been added I'm going to leave the default name for now congratulations seven day cloud storage one month plan I will do that later and then if I click on that there we are firmware update it's very important to update the firmware so I will update the firmware and then I'll come back I've updated the firmware now we're fully connected up and running now at the top there if you push the corner that would take you back out and if you've got any more cameras linked like i've got that lock linked it will ask you if you want to go on to that but i want to go on to the q2 of course so it's plain there by the way you did see that you get one month free cloud storage that's only for a month to all the new members and if you do however decide you want to keep it you want to go down the cloud storage route you do have to pay a subscription for that every month. Quality on this is fantastic. Look at the way it's bringing the orange color out from the box. It's got a pause button there. So if I were to pause it, that will pause the recording and then unpause it. That's the live feed I'm getting now. You can, of course, add different cameras. So if, you, if I had more than one camera going now, it would show me all four. I could put up to four cameras, but I've only got one at the moment and then you could change the definition from high definition to standard definition so it depends if your internet is quite slow you could run on standard definition but I'm going to run it on HD because I have a strong uh, internet connection and then that of course there is the speaker I'm not going to push that now because if I do it's going to give me a lot of echo that I could change the screen around so there you could see take a picture if I want I'd hold that to have a conversation so if I was in the other room and someone were here I could speak to them record I could record that footage it's saying it started recording now that recording will get saved onto my SD card and also on to the phone where it show me like you know someone's been around or whatever if I wave my hand by it will of course give me the motion detection notification stop recording that's saved there now At, there you go motion detection so it's noticed detection so that's working perfect it's got a share button there as well. I could share it with anyone else who's using the same app and has the device that gear cog there if you click on that this is where you could change the settings and stuff so if I click on the Q2 that will give me the information for the camera that's the device firmware I have just updated that features if I click that that will tell me the features that this camera has got so it's giving me the serial number and stuff and then it's got like torque wi-fi motion detection everything okay here notifications so alarm notifications what i've already got on and you've know you've seen them by the notifications coming on and then device offline i'm going to enable that so if the internet goes down it will push me notifications saying that your internet's gone off or if someone does come in to the house and actually unplug the camera but the size of the camera isn't much actually it's got a small footprint so you can put it behind a shelf or somewhere neatly you just sit there without anyone noticing it you've got your arm setting motion detection is on human detection on you could schedule the settings as well so you could choose monday to sunday and then when you click into this gear icon you could choose the days you want as well and the time you could set, say if you're working from nine till five or five till nine you can set that time it will stay armed at that time and then you've got the sensitivity you've got from one to five it's on three i'm leaving it on three at the moment and then you can do the region setting so that's a good one that so you could see everything that is orange now is flip the screen around 
so wherever it's orange that is being detected now so anything that goes near there it'll be covered so say if you've got this camera pointed outside you've got your neighbor's garden a bit of it coming in and you don't want that in all you do is you just click it is in there so the part that is not orange now will not be detected only the part that's orange will be detected so the actual q2 box and the plant pot where it says man cave that will not be detected so all i do is hit save and it's good to go but of course i'm not saving it now so exit out it's a really good feature that and then you've got your alarm sound setting alarm linkage i don't know what that is but i think if you've got more cameras it link the same uh, alarm to all of them i think that's what that is you've got your abnormal sound alarm click on that by default this is off but i've gone in and turned this on this is a really good feature i really like this if someone comes into your house and they're going through your stuff this will send you a notification to let you know that it's detected abnormal sound and then you could set the decibel as well so as you can see by default it's on 70 which is annoying i'm leaving it on 70 i just back out of the thing there that's live feed now you're getting live feed i've got a water bottle here you can see waving around the camera i'm gonna hit it on the table and it should send me a notification he has already sent me some Wait a few seconds and that will send me a notification saying that it's picked up abnormal sound. If I pull this down, it's already sent me some there. There you go. It just sent me that. But because I had the tab pulled down, you didn't get to see it. So there. And now it's showing me the clip as well, like what's going on. So I could click on there. But obviously there's nothing going on because I've done it myself. If there is someone in your house, this is a brilliant feature because you could click on the abnormal alarm, push on it, and it'll show you the live feed, what's going on. And you can take a picture as well while you're there. Or you could even start recording. So you could record it live while it's happening. So if someone's in your house, you've got live evidence there or photo evidence. Excellent feature that. Back out of there. Just want to show you where it says messages. So there, I've gone to messages and these are all the abnormal sounds it's picked up. So if I click on that, I could play on that and that will play the section what it recorded when it heard the abnormal sound. Obviously the camera, I haven't moved it, it's in the same position but if there was someone in front of it, it would pick it up. Cloud storage, of course no point clicking on that because I don't I have cloud storage at the moment local storage so let's see yeah, that's my sd card i do have a 32 gigabyte sd card in there then local storage settings video storage stream setting i've got it on hd general record microphone that's on let's click more there's the ir light setting so you can have it on auto or you can disable it device indicator leave that on camera image flip uh, like i mentioned before if you are going to mount it upside down come in here and flip the camera time zone date format and you can of course reboot it and you can delete the device as well so once you back out of there then at the bottom here it says mm -hmm. message it's just human detection that tells you personal push system info if there's any maintenance that they're doing to the app and stuff it will tell me in here if i go back where it says me you can have your avatar there if you want it my device q2 and the lock which i've turned off and i can add another one from there if i want and then it's got the download list here nothing there local files that's what i stored earlier on in terms of video so if i push play there you go there was no movement there so it's just playing like this but if there was any movement it would of course show me that that's the video picture there i've taken two pictures it's showing me them. And then tools. That's the Wi-Fi and stuff. Geofencing, that's in beta at the moment. I'll back out of that. So I think by looking at this, which they will be adding it in 
so the geofencing they will be adding that in which will be good but that's already like on the region setting i showed you that similar sort of stuff and you've got more information this is compatible with amazon alexa it says your google home i don't know about them too but i know it's definitely compatible with amazon alexa account and security different sort of uh, settings there and exit current account no i don't want to do that go back to device press play sending me notification there you go you can see that well that's the end of my review on the q2 home security camera i think it's a fantastic piece of kit especially for the price three main features that stick out to me is compatible with amazon alexa so if you've got your child in the other room coldering or whatever and you're in the kitchen you could just ask the alexa to show you the footage it'll bring you up on your phone human detection that's really good so say if you've got the patio doors open or your outside door and you're in a different room your pets are coming in and out it will set a notification to you but if someone else comes into your house like an intruder or something it will push a notification to your phone fairly quickly as you've seen while i was doing the demonstration it kept showing notifications so it is fairly fast at that there's a small amount of lag i hadn't noticed much because i've been using this for a week now even in high definition but that again depends on how strong your internet is i do have strong internet connection so i didn't notice much lag at all abnormal sound now that's really good because if you're using it as a baby monitor and your child starts crying it will bring you up or if your child's in the other room coloring or watching tv or whatever and they drop something like they drop a glass or something i, I have seen that in the hardware actually for this where a child drops a glass and or they, anything can happen with kids you know if you have kids you know what i'm on about like i, I have two children and everything is happening all the time with them and this will send you the notification straight away that's a really good feature and for the price for 40 pound you can't go wrong i have reviewed loads of different ip cameras on my channel i will leave a link in the description box below and i will leave pop-up cards if you want to watch them but none have been as simple to use as this this does have a really good app my friends as always thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in my next video